wind in the beard, beard problems. All right, time to head into the museum. This way. Make sure you pay first. <laughs> I'm just going to walk around, see who's down here, see who we can talk to. Oh no, it's a steep grade. I don't know if I can make it. <laughs> Let's try it anyway. This is just some B-roll of me walking down to the mine. My beard's blowing in the wind. Yeah, so Suave, if you want to uh, have a Suave beard, I could use some sponsors. Gigantic piles of stuff. Looking at it in daylight, I wouldn't know what's what. I wouldn't know what is good and what is bad. You know, I would have no clue. But this is the buckwheat dump for the Franklin Mineral Museum. What's happening? Hey, how are you? Good, good. Trying to do it long wave, eh? Yeah, oh. looking for sphalerites. Got a couple. Oh, the orange? Orange, blues, a yeah. couple of pinks. <laughs> Detroit Lions. Love them. I got my tattoo. A bubbles. All right, so I got a question for you, man. Sure, sure. So you're from here, New Jersey, right? Yep. How the heck did you become a Detroit Lions fan? Okay. My entire <laughs> life I've been a Detroit fan. Yeah. My oldest brother, Danny, he had a Detroit helmet. And mm -hmm. ever since I was a kid, I was like, that's my team. So did you get to watch Barry Sanders and all that? All of them. Yeah. Awesome. For yeah. years. Love Barry. Barry and Calvin. Yep. Yeah. Billy Sims. <laughs> yeah, he's old. I heard you know a little bit of the history about where little we're standing. Bit. Oh, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, a little bit. So what do you know? Back here along this area, the train, when it would come through along the top, it would dump most of the old, like, tailing, stuff that nobody thought of. Yeah. Uh, Willamite was not considered anything great. Like, people just overlooked it because it was all yeah. zinc. Yeah. This is old stuff. This is... You know, the further under you go, the closer to the beginnings of the mine you're getting. Um, so what does it cost you to come down for the day and fill a bucket up? Depends on how heavy I make that bucket. Okay, is so, it a per pound thing or something? Yeah, or? Two, two bucks per pound. Oh, okay. Uh, which isn't bad, which isn't bad at all. So we and, come down. And then you got to pay a fee to get in, right? Yeah, it's okay. like $10, $12, something like that. Okay. So my daughter's on her first date. They wanted to come rock hunting. Oh, I was like, that's, no, that's cool. awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> that's the way to do it. Doing it right. These are some really big rocks. How do oh, yeah. Do you you got to break them with a hammer or something to get pieces? I up? have a five pound sledge in the orange bucket. Yeah, you just go to it and smack them apart. Now I see a guy with a, a black sheet out there. Can you, can you get some of that? See the guy with the black sheet out there? What's he doing? Uh, killing the daylight. Stephanie told me about it yeah. and like I was looking for sheets, I was looking for like uh, window shade covers, and she's yeah. like, "Just go get a grill cover." Yeah. And Charlie, my daughter, we we picked <laughs> up the grill cover. And we're like, "You can see everything." I'll look out there, and I'll be like, "Oh, I need that one." And I was like, "I need that one." And my wife was like, "Stop bringing rocks home." Yeah, wow. rock hunters, we're all hoarders. <laughs> we are. We are. I look at it as they're orphaned and they need to come home. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, so thanks, Pete, for coming you're down welcome. and telling me about this place. This place is awesome. If you're ever in the area, come to the Franklin Museum. Get on their dump site and look for some rocks. It's amazing. It's super fun. I want the sun, man. I haven't had no vitamin D forever. Yeah, I got to train my eye to alert and how to look for this stuff in daylight.